Hi there, bike touring Mike here. This is the sixth day of my bike tour here in Provence, and today is a Sunday, so you all probably know what that means. That means I have to find a supermarket pretty quick here. Uh, most supermarkets are those ones who are open close at 12, and it's 10:30 now. So keeping my fingers crossed. But I find one pretty soon here. Have you seen this before? Fries in a can. Took a little detour here to eat my breakfast and ended up at an adventure park or a high ropes course. Kind of looks like the one we have back home in Schlefteå. But anyway, I see a couple of benches here in front of me, so I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast now. Sunday market, Sunday cyclists. <laughs> Going a little off road here. So I got tired of this nasty headwind. So I'm, uh, I'm taking a little shortcut here over a small hill or whatever you call it. Uh, <laughs> the quality of the road isn't that good so I'm walking with a bike and it's uh, very much up, up and down all the time. I think, I think this will last for the next two kilometers. Going over these hills over here. Guessing you can hear the wind as well. Rocky Favor. I think this is probably the second largest aqueduct after Ponte Gard. Quite impressive. I'm so glad I took this road today. Uh, I've been battling the headwind all day and uh, while this road is a bit hilly and curvy, I take that any day of the week instead of the headwind. And uh, can't complain about the nature surrounding the road either. And I'm heading into a larger town now uh, called what you can see below here in the text. So I'd like to challenge all of you English-speaking people to pronounce that at town. I'm not French-speaking either, but 
I think it's called Aix en Provence. It's a Sunday today, but I didn't think it'd be this dead. <laughs> it's a pretty big town, this one. I think there lives around uh, 150,000 people. And I'm almost in the center of Aix de Provence. But I'm totally alone on the roads. So it was uh, perfect timing to choose a Sunday to go through here. Whoops. <laughs> This street is called Cours Mirabeau and it's kind of like the main street here in Aix de Provence where everything happens. I gotta say, I love these huge alleyways with trees along them. Both uh, covering you from the wind and from some rain. <laughs> Just found this ochre pit here. I'm guessing we're about maybe a hundred kilometers just south of Roussillon, so that's probably why we have the same type of geology here. in for uh, quite a climb now again and it's just started raining so it's not uh, the best of times right now <laughs> but I'm struggling on just took shelter here from the wind for a while uh, sort of stone wall right here <laughs> So I've been climbing for the last half hour and uh, according to Google Maps I have 4 kilometers left until I'm at the top and then I have at least 10 kilometers of downhill after that so <sighs> even though it's a downhill I have a really nasty headwind so I'm, <laughs> I'm barely moving at all. I really want to make some distance tonight even though it's drizzling now it looks like it's gonna be pouring down tomorrow so uh, I don't want to have uh, a bunch of days where I have to push myself to get to Nice in time. So um, I'd rather cycle on a bit now and uh, take it easier in the morning in the rain. Look at this view. 
behind me here, by the way. You can understand I'm pretty high up when the clouds are just above the cliffs over here. Well, it started raining a lot in the end here, and I just found a place, uh, maybe camped out maybe 50 meters off the road, pretty secluded. So uh, I didn't get to film setting up the tent because it was <laughs> pouring down by then, as you can. Now it's kind of died down a bit, I think. A few things got a bit wet. <laughs> so now I've dedicated the, the left side here is the wet side and uh, the dry side over here is the one that I'm sleeping on. It looks like it's gonna continue to rain all night and almost all of the day tomorrow as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate if you do that. And as usual, until next time, have a good one.